correlation and regression, and uh, we're going to take a look at finding the sum of the squared residuals. And you got these on this data here. So we're going to enter that into the calculator. Now, if you're not under your application library, press your apps button. And we want to go into the statistics to var. So if it isn't already highlighted, then do your arrow keys over to it, highlight it, and press enter. Now, I already have data here, so let me clean that out. Even though it's the same data, I'm just going to enter. What I'm doing is I'm just pressing the delete over and over to clean those out. Okay. Well, we're going to put our x values in C1, so 1 through 7. So do 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, 5, 6, and 7. I'm going to write error over, and then I'm putting my y values in C2. So I got 12, 31, 45, 46, 51. 55 and 73 and let me double check those it looks good okay now um, remember if you do stats you can choose column and choose two and that gives you R uh, let's see that again okay column I'll put two Point nine five three seven. Okay, I don't remember if that's what it was, but um, assuming I type my numbers in right, it is. Then if I go to symbolic, um, if you have this selected and have C1, C2 here, and this is marked as linear, then you should see this. Uh, this is your least least squares regression line. Okay. Well, now I'm going to go to home. So there it is. And let me clean that out from before. Actually, let me go to symbolic. Notice how this says S1. So keep that in mind. This is S1. That's where this uh, least squares regression line is. Now I'll go home. And um, I want to press my um, toolbox button. Bring up the menu. And if your math is selected over here, you want to choose the app. So I choose the app. And... Um, there's a spreadsheet option here. So I choose 6 for spreadsheet. And you see the first one says sum. So I'm going to do a 1 for sum. And it says spreadsheet.sum, then beginning parentheses, and there's closing parentheses. I'm going to put my residual IDs in here. So I want to um, bring back up my, my uh, menu. So I push the tool. And now, instead of going into the spreadsheet, I want to go into statistics toolbar. So I'll right arrow over, and I want to choose re residuals, which is uh, number 3. So press uh, 3. Now I need to tell the residuals of what. Um, so I'm going to go into my VARs, right arrow over in Statistics 2 VAR, down arrow to Symbolic, right arrow, and we want S1. Because remember, S1 is what we're looking at for the regression equation. So then I'm do Enter on that. Okay. Now, right now, my parentheses are inside um, this, or my cursor is inside this parentheses. This will be a little hard to see, but my right arrow once, that's on the outside of S1, beginning parentheses, closing parentheses. And I right arrow one more time, and that'll be on the outside of the residual IDs. So now I'm going to push my X squared button, and... Uh, the residual of S1 will return the residuals, and this squared will add them to, or squared, and then the sum will add it together. So then I press enter. And 199.39 is the sum of the squared residuals. So that's our answer. In this video, we took a look at how to find the sum of the squared residuals on an HP Prime graphing calculator.